Hello mga Pilot Talkers! Welcome to our vlog. I'm Pilot Mike and I am in Siargao. Today we have a different episode kasi we are talking about drones. <laughs> oh ha! Pwede na yun. Um, Some of you may be wondering why we are talking about drones kahit hindi naman siya part ng aviation. Unang-una, vlog namin to, wala kayo magagawa. <laughs> Pangalawa, this may be the future of aviation in a much smaller scale. There are already several companies that are developing their electrical, vertical takeoff and landing passenger drones. Companies like Airbus that is scheduled for type certification and introduction of their all-electrical four-passenger drone. So if you are as excited about this content as I am, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button para alam nyo kung may bago kaming video. Paano? Let's start! Well actually guys, since nasa Siargao tayo, gawa muna tayo ng cliché travel montage. So as I've said kanina dun sa intro ko, I'm here in Chergao. I've actually been under a lot of stress sa uh, Manila because of all the lockdowns na nangyari. And nung nag-open na ulit yung travel, I took the first chance I could get to fly out of Manila and come here to Chergao kasi ito yung talagang happy place ko. I am staying here ngayon sa Jonas Twins Hotel. Second time ko na actually here sa Jonas Twins Resort dito sa General Luna. The hotel is nothing fancy pero tahimik, the rooms are nice and most of all it's a beachfront. So as yan, you can see there's a big open space, merong garden. Diyan ako nag yoga to unwind and then they have a small kubo right in front of the beach. Dito ako tumatambay if I want to do some work or just read a book. Andito lang ako palagi. Medyo low tide lang ngayon, pero meron silang durian sa harap ng beach. Pwede ka umeme-eme dyan. So yun, napun muna tayo dito sa my beach front. I personally experienced a bit of anxiety or uncertainty as to where my career was going and generally where aviation is going, especially because of all the lockdowns. Alam naman natin na struggling yung aviation industry right now. So this feeling led me into a rabbit hole of research as to where aviation is going in the next five years and yung uncertainty and anxiety ko was replaced with a bit of excitement kasi nakita ko yung mga bagong type of aircrafts na under development right now and yun yung isha-share namin sa episode na ito. So for this episode, isha-share ko sa inyo yung mga na-research ko. Number one is how a drone flies and how this is related to the future of aviation. Kasi there are already several aviation companies that are developing their own quadrocopter passenger electrical quadrocopters that hopefully will be introduced in the market in the future. So the other day I met up with my friend Ed para mapaglaruan namin yung drone niya. So basically a DJI drone or yung drone na palagi natin nakikita sa YouTube is like a mini helicopter. Pero it has four propellers. The way it generates lift is the moment the propeller starts spinning, air is directed downwards towards the ground to create upward lift. So yung basic analogy nito is parang electric fan. Pag umikot yung blades ng electric fan, may hangin na lalabas and then it is directed downwards. For the drone to take off, the propellers have to create lift that is greater than the weight of the aircraft and the drag created by the upwards movement. Once a drone has taken off, it can start hovering. When the drone is hovering, the propellers are creating lift that is equal to the weight of the aircraft. Itong basic principle na ito applies to the drone and all other VTOL aircraft or vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Yung takeoff and landing of a drone is the easy part. Now let's move on on how the drone maneuvers. So as you can see, ang mga drone wala siyang flight control surfaces like an airplane. Instead, it uses the differences in the speed ng propellers to maneuver the drone and at the same time, it uses angular momentum. To move left or right, the propellers on one side of the aircraft speeds up and therefore creates more lift and the propellers on the opposite side slow down. 
This tilts the body of the drone so that there will be a lateral resultant force. So as you can see in this video, whenever I move the drone left or right, medyo nagtitilt siya towards the direction of the movement. Pare-pareho lang yan whether the drone is moving forward or back, side to side. Now, everything that I have discussed happens without the knowledge of the drone operator. Pero useful itong knowledge na ito para sa ating mga ad geeks kasi malapit na magkaroon ng mga passenger drones or quadrocopters. Before we get to that topic, coffee muna tayo. Pagod na ako eh. So, yun nga guys, this is what I usually do when I'm not surfing here sa Siargao. I would find a secluded na beach para ako lang yung tao and then dito lang ako, mag-chill lang, mabasa-basa, go online, read a book. So, masalap lang to have a change of um, environment outside of Manila. Anyways, we're here to talk about yung new passenger drones na nakita ko online. A lot of um, aviation companies have started developing their quadrocopters. Actually, it's like a new breed of aircraft. Itong mga aircraft na to, it's like a mix between a helicopter and an airplane. So first nating i-discuss siguro yung Joby Aviation S4. This is an electrical VTOL aircraft or vertical takeoff and landing. And NASA just started testing this last September 21. Now, um, when you look at it, of all the aircraft na nahanap ko, ito yung pinakamukhang helicopter yung, yung fuselage niya. And then it looks like it's a hybrid between a rotor aircraft and an airplane. So it's quite exciting na may mga bagong developments na ganito in the aviation industry. So meron siyang six tilting propellers on fixed wings, then pa letter V yung tail niya. So yung tilting propellers, um, I think this is yung usual na nakikita natin sa mga VTOL na aircraft wherein pag magti-take off siya, naka-point upwards yung mga propellers and then when it, trans it transitions into cruising mode, nagti-tilt forward yung propellers to give forward propulsion dun sa aircraft. Now itong Joby S4, this is an electric aircraft, all electric aircraft which makes it much more quieter than helicopters. In fact, on their website, it says that it's 100 times more quiet than helicopters. This is exciting because these types of aircraft are meant to be used within the city. And if you are operating aircrafts in the city, we have noise abatement procedures or noise certifications in mga aircraft to prevent yung noise pollution within the city. So kung this is really as quiet as they say it is, then hopefully mas madaling ma-approve yung use nito within metropolitan areas. Now on their website naman, it has what they're calling the unified flight controls. Um, it's a system of preventing pilot error and it's similar to what the Lockheed Martin F-35 uses. So similar to like an Airbus, they're saying that the aircraft can take over to prevent pilot error. If this is something that will be used by um, a lot of people, it's very helpful na meron ganitong mga fail-safe itong aircraft na ito. Yung next ko naman na nahanap online is yung tinatawag na Ehang VT-30. Now, ito, I think kaka-release lang nito. Comparing this to the previous aircraft, yung Joby S4, this one naman resembles a cross between um, a drone and an aircraft. As you can see, meron siyang um, apat na propellers on the four sides and then it has a fixed wing. Pero dun sa tail niya, meron pang isa pang propeller directing air through the letter V na stabilizer. Again, just like the Joby, it's also electric. But this one is intended to be long range. It has a range of 300 kilometers or 100 minutes na endurance. So, wow, medyo mas malayo ito. It looks like it can be used for intercity na transport naman. Eight propellers on both sides. So it seems that um, 
Sa bawat side, may dalawang propeller pala, top and bottom. And then, this configuration allows vertical takeoff and landing, pero because it has a fixed wing, um, it allows travel for longer ranges naman. Um, one of the downsides of this type of aircraft is it's a two-passenger aircraft. Now, they didn't release your maximum takeoff weight nito online. So, I think um, it has a lower maximum takeoff weight, pero it allows longer range. Kasi lower the weight, baka less energy ang ginagamit to maintain altitude. Now, on their website, it says they have triple redundancy fly-by-wire system, which is similar to what we have dun sa Airbus na nililipad namin. And it's nice to see these types of redundancies or fail-safes sa mga aircraft to make it more accessible to the public. Tapos, again, low noise siya, zero emission, and fully autonomous. So, looking at this aircraft, um... I'm, I have mixed feelings dito sa itsura nitong aircraft nito. For me, it looks like an RC plane. Parang para siyang laruan na malaki na pwede mong sakyan. And I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Kasi parang, um, I don't know for me. Kasi parang if sasakyan ko yung aircraft, gusto ko sana yung mukha talaga siyang aircraft. Hindi siya mukhang laruan. But I don't know. Let me know dun sa comments sa baba how you feel or kung parang matutuwa kayong sakyan tong Ihang VT30 kasi medyo medyo talagang parang laruan siya compared dun sa next nating i-discuss which is yung Airbus I saved the best for last pero bago yan guys uuwi na muna ako sa hotel kasi magso sunset na and nag high tide na so nalulubog na itong pinagsestayan ko So right in front of my hotel, meron itong dock and it's just so relaxing to go here. Almost every sunset I come here just to unwind and end the day. Parang wala, ang sarap lang sa feeling to be out here and alone and just enjoying yung sunset. Every day here sa Siargao, I would wake up around 4.30, 5am, meet my friends, magsasurf. And then, um, after surfing, minsan manghuhuli sila mga isda. And then, kakainin namin sa boat. Then, surf pa more. So, ganun lang yung naging routine ko here sa Siargao for the past um, almost two weeks na andito ako. Of course, uh, before we end this video, i-share ko na yung pinaka-favorite ko sa lahat ng aircraft na nahanap ko. Yung City Airbus, made by, of course, Airbus. Um, I'm a bit partial pagdating sa Airbus. Siyempre kasi Airbus yung nililipat ko sa airline. So talagang medyo may tiwala na ako when it comes to making aircraft sa Airbus. Of all the aircrafts na nahanap ko, ito yung parang pinaka-modern. They have a previous generation that they've been developing the past few years. Um, it looks straight out of a sci-fi movie. Para siyang kulay white. I feel like it's a police car na nilagyan mo ng apat na propellers. I or I think eight yung propellers nito. And it has a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour with a 15-minute endurance. So I think of all the um, new aircrafts na lalabas, parang ito yung medyo mababa yung speed and medyo mababa yung endurance. Definitely something for intercity travel lang. Now, if that will drain the battery within 15 minutes, uh, another technology that they have to come up with is yung fast charging of these batteries or palang replaceable batteries para sunod-sunod yung mga flight niya. Let's say it flies off of one destination and then it lands in another destination. Sana pwedeng tanggalin yung battery niya and then palitan ng bago para hindi matigil yung pag-travel niya. This month lang nag-release sila ng next generation City Airbus. They're still calling it City Airbus. Next generation lang. Now for me, if you think the old ones look modern, this one is even more modern. This one naman has a fixed wing and a V-tail. Ngayon parang pare-pareho na halos yung configuration ng mga aircraft na diniscuss natin. So it seems like yung manufacturers are finding out na ito talaga yung most efficient configurations for all this um, electrical VTOL aircrafts. So on their website, it says na Yung aircraft nila is optimized for hover and cruise efficiency while not requiring moving surfaces or tilting parts during transition. 
So I don't know how they did this and I'm very excited kasi prototypes pa lang yung nare-release nila. Gusto ko makita how they transition from hovering to cruising. Kasi di ba yung Joby S4, vertical yung mga propellers niya. And then to transition into cruise, haharap siya. Just like a normal VTOL. So I wanna see what Airbus did here to um, transition from hovering to cruising. Pero out of all the aircraft, yun nga sabi ko, kay Airbus ako pinaka may tiwala kasi they really do have decades of experience in making aircrafts talaga. Very reliable talaga sila. Aside from this, this aircraft is designed to be fully autonomous. Initially, may pilot siya. Tapos eventually, pag na-certify na sila, uh, fully autonomous na siya. So I think of all the aircraft manufacturers, si Airbus yung talagang may experience when it comes to automation. They are already using it dun sa mga existing aircraft nila. And most likely, ma-apply nila yung mga natutunan nila from the previous aircraft to create this fully autonomous EV tall aircraft. So that's it mga pilot talkers. Thank you again for watching all the way to the end. Sana you are as excited about these aircrafts as I am. And for me, para talaga siyang yung Jetsons. Parang yung mga cartoons na pinapanood dati nung bata. Nagkakatutuo na siya finally. And malay nyo, hindi na tayo malilate kasi yung mga grab natin, flying vehicles na. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Again, I am Pilot Mike and this is the Pilot Talk Show.